with a court interpreter who says she's seen an overwhelming amount of need from those in the Spanish speaking community. And yet only 7% of the first round of funding went to those who identify as Hispanic. And with the clock ticking to September to disperse this $50 million, we asked the organization how they're going to bridge those gaps. As a Spanish interpreter, Janet Bonet says she translates heartbreaking stories weekly in eviction court, recounting one from a family who recently became victim of a rent to own scam. They were struggling to get it back or at least get the money back that they thought was paying for it because in the meantime, they're doing paying the taxes and, and um, making the payment to the, the owner and then um, fixing up the house, thinking it was theirs. But in Bonnet's position, she can't give them counsel or act as their advocate. I feel helpless sometimes, caught in the middle because I can't cross that line. But on Tuesday, she showed up to give her two cents on city council's decision to approve $50 million more million for the metro area continuum of care for the homeless or match to dole out. This money is absolutely essential to help areas, particularly like mine, South Omaha, I am astounded, though, to hear that only 7% of applicants were Hispanic or identified as Hispanic because I see people being evicted all the time. In less than a year, Match helped distribute more than $37 million in rental assistance to more than 8,000 households. City Council President Pete Festerson applauded the group's effort in the first round. And getting the funds out as quickly as possible, but making sure they're going to those that truly need it and to make sure there is no uh, fraud or abuse in the program as well. I think they've struck a good balance with that. In a statement to KETV News Watch 7, Match Interim Director Lisa Fox says they've learned lessons and identified areas of improvement for the next round of funding and says they are working with a company to produce content in various languages, both in print and digital. Bonnet says that could help more struggling families. That's why I'm involved, because I care about my community. I care about the population down here. Now, Match says there will be changes on who qualifies for this next pot of rental assistance, but they're still waiting for the city to approve those changes. And Councilman Festerson says the bigger issue at hand is affordable housing. That's why the city is looking at $20 million in ARPA funds to build more units in Omaha. Reporting live, Catherine Garcia, KETV News Watch 7.